Remember, of course, he will not have stopped at this stage on the medium compound tyre. And locking up and contact between Peak, who is off the road for Rapax and another yellow flag. That was between Peak and Markolov. So that seems to be out of the way. Meanwhile, this titanic battle between Giovinazzi, who of course started this race on pole, and Oli Roland, is he thinking about a move into seven? He'd have to be brave to try that one. Yeah, exactly. Very good restart for, uh, for Marcello and Matsushita. They were on it when the safety car came in and uh, caught the others out. Markolov has, with the damage to that front wing, hit the wall further around the lap. I think that's turn seven. So, Stoffel, thank you very much for joining us for the chaotic opening laps of this first feature race in Baku. You've got to go off to the McLaren driver's briefing now, I understand. But yes, thanks, exactly. thanks for your insights, uh, the 2015 GP2 champion. Thanks very much for your time today, Stoffel. Yeah, later. Bye. So we're on board with Artem Markolov, heading into turn number three. Got Peak on the right-hand side, a lock-up for Peak, and he didn't know Markolov was there. Just man, man. Oh, come on. And Markolov doing a very good Sebastian Vettel impression there on the radio, understandably furious. As Peak ends his race at turn number four. And this is how his race ended. Three corners later, just turning in, unaware of the damage to the front and making contact with the Tech Pro.